Hi, I'm Mike Benoit. I'm running for Congress in the 52nd District. We're doing a videotaping here in the Liberty Library in El Cajon. It's a private library that we open up to everybody in the community to come in if they'd like and research our founding documents and our philosophy of liberty based on what the founders, how they looked at government. We're doing this video as part of our grassroots campaign. We're going to be distributing these videos by hand, door to door. We'll be looking for help on that, of course. And then we're going to be putting this video out on the YouTube. So you'll be able to see uh, just what my issues are on, and my views on the different issues. And, and with that in mind, I'm going to give you a brief introduction of myself and then get into uh, my philosophy, which is very similar to the founding fathers in this country. Personally, uh, my background is such that I was born in Boston, Massachusetts. Spent only one year there and we moved to Vermont and then at 10 years of age we came to California. I grew up in Pacific Beach and in my early 20s I moved to the East County. I've been in the East County ever since. Been a business owner out here for the last 20 plus years in the home inspection business and I have a flyer delivery service. And in my business I've had to deal with government at so many different levels. I really was forced into t taking a close examination of the system of government that we have and watching how things went wrong with more government regulation, more government taxation. I want to give you a little bit of background too. In my personal life, I'm a single father. I've got two daughters. Natalie is age 27. She's married and has a, a daughter of her own now, Aubrey. And then my daughter, Michelle, who's 17, goes to West Hills High School in Santee. So my business is also in Santee. I live in uh, Lakeside. I was motivated to get in politics actually by our former congressman, Duncan Sr. When Duncan Sr., while he was on a radio talk program, I called in and I said, Duncan Hunter, we have to do something about federal government getting so large and they're, they're usurping our rights and whatnot. I said that, you know, maybe we just start looking at cutting the federal government. And I said, what about the federal school lunch? When are we going to get rid of this federal school lunch program? Duncan Hunter said, no, we can't. We can't get rid of that because we need to make sure the kids are, are fed. And I'm going, well, Duncan, that's not a federal function. The federal government has no business in the domestic affairs of the state. And so, you know, that, that told me that the conservative Republican was really not a small government Republican. It's a big government Republican. The, f the philosophy of the founders, which is, is the same philosophy that I adhere to, is basically a government that is established to secure our liberties and pretty much leave us alone to live our lives as we best see fit. The federal government was established, according to Madison in Federalist Paper 45, that the federal government was established to deal with issues that were foreign to the states, to deal with things like peace, commerce with foreign nations, disputes between the nations, and Madison made it clear in Federalist Paper 45 that all other issues to deal with a person's life, a person's property, were to be dealt with at the state level, and including your liberty. And so it wasn't the federal government's job in the sense of individual day-to-day -day liberty to protect it. It's your, it was the state's responsibility. And the federal government was to deal with infringements from foreign nations or disputes again between the two states. Now this system of government established by the states, the states created the constitution, so the states were jealous about controlling and keeping you know, personal control, the philosophy of Thomas Jefferson, keep the government close to the people, the closer the better. So that in this same philosophy we had government that governs least, governs best. So we lost our way over the last century, pretty do predominantly over the last century, of course from the beginning the Congress people started to infringe on this philosophy of limited government because every time you make a rule or regulation you start to increase government and if, the, if it's true that government that governs least governs best then we, we don't want to do that kind of thing but over the last century we've got ourselves into the mode where we're expecting government to do more and more and in the process we're violating the axiom that Ben Franklin pointed out to us Ben Franklin told us that we, if we give up our liberties for security, we'd end up with neither and we deserve neither. So for a century we've been asking the government to do more. 
we've been saying, we'll give up our liberty if you give us this security. And we can go back to programs like Social Security, and you can, there's hundreds, probably thousands of different federal programs where we said, we'll give up a little bit of our liberty for this security. Well, if Ben Franklin was correct, and I believe he was, that the more liberty you give up, uh, for security, the more you end up with neither. And I think ultimately we'll end up in a 4 by 8 cell. We'll have the liberty of a 4 by 8 cell and the security that goes with that. And I don't think uh, people in this country really want that. So my philosophy is to shift our company, country back to a point where uh, the, the founders set up. It was a country to secure our liberties. It was set up by people who were liberators. But for a, a century or more we've been electing people that I call controllers. They're not, they're not liberators, they're controllers, and in the process they're enslavers. Because when they, you're controlled by someone else, they tell you what to do. That's pure definition of a slave owner or a slave master. So they destroy our liberty in the process, and for the last hundred years they've been establishing a system of socialism, which plunders the property from the people that earned it and give it to people that don't. And you can see where we're at today. We're really starting to build a system of tyranny where the federal government controls everything all the way down from the state to the county level and they do it without our say so and they, they, they're taxing us into a point of oblivion, they're spending us into a point of oblivion. And so with that in mind I'm going to hit each issue individually here. I'm going to take a, maybe a minute to a minute and a half to talk about the major issues of the day and show you how they, if they were dealt with with a philosophy of limited government how much better off we would be.